Now, listen, I don't exactly know how this happened. All I did was log on the server, but we have a couple more of, uh, of these guys than usual. If, if you take a look over here, like this guy, these two, this little, this little batch right here, um, so observe the items, observe the items. Now, if you take a look over here at our, our, our next, our next uh, test subject, observe the items. Thank you, Siri. Thank you, Siri. And observe the items. Yeah, I, um, the things that happen apparently when I log off a server and I leave my luggies alone. Sick. <laughs>
Ooh, my girl is freaking... Look at that. She got four Mr. Red Hearts in her freaking food chest, man. You gotta eat your... She is literally about to eat some hearts out right now. But either way, uh, like I was saying, though, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of wood from her right now. In fact, we have a chest right now. Ooh, I wish I could, like, upgrade this chest to make it look a bit nicer. But I think we're going to be okay. Either way, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and I get... Gripper, are you having a good time right now? <laughs> You, uh, he's just having a jolly old time. You gotta remember, the Ocelot pet right now, actually, it makes these creepers run away from me, sort of. So, like, he'll come over to me. These guys will not blow up, by the way. It does not matter how close I get to these creepers, they will actually never explode. At least I think so. Now that I think about it, I'm actually not gonna test that. Either way, though, we're gonna go ahead and gift Kara with a rainbow oak sapling, just because, you know, I've got an extra one right now. The only thing is, actually, I need to make a sign real fast here. Now, I want to trade with her. She's asleep at the moment, but I wanted to do this before, uh, you know, like the next episode, obviously, she can wake up. You know, wait, <laughs> that's so cheesy, dude, you know. Oh, my gosh. I think that's when you play Minecraft a bit too much, when you're like, my girlfriend can wake up to a gift in Minecraft. My fudging gosh, am I a virgin. Either way, uh, we're going to go ahead and gift her with this chest right here. I want to trade something with her, although I, I'm not really sure what exactly I want to trade. In fact, you know what? Before I write this sign, what does she have that I might be of interest in. So she's got, she is a huge fan of uh, the Marvel DC superhero thing. She's like, Har she works with Harley Quinn. Uh, she has uh, the Joker. She also got Iron Man. Ooh, she's got that Iron Man suit, baby. I love it. She's got a lot of stuff around here. You got diamond chests with absolutely nothing in it. Ooh. Actually, you know what? No, to make it look a bit more attractive. I'm sorry, Carol. I'm going to go ahead and pop this in your diamond chest just to make it look, because you got nothing in your diamond chest. Let me go ahead and pop it right in there. So, Rainbow Oak Sapling, right? Right there. Why not? You know what? Where do you go if I organize it? Well, obviously. Okay, so we're going to put it right there, because why not? Question is, what does Kara have? Ooh, miniature yellow hearts, gold oak saplings. That looks really nice. I could ask a heart of her. I don't know if I really want to be that guy, though. But I'm trying to think, because Kara and I talked about the trade. Uh, she knows about this whole endeavor going down right now. So it's, like, it's going to be a surprise. It's not really going to be a surprise. She knows that I want something of her. We didn't really know what to trade that would be worth kind of something that's relatively rare. Um, so I have really no idea. I mean, nothing in here, obviously, is all that valuable. Now, she does have... Wow. Four... Oh, she, ooh, she's gone around, man. She's got four Naga trophies. I assume she's got a lot of Naga scales somewhere. You got uh, Concentrated Essence Berries. This is like her entire series right now. You got that Queen Dragon, though. Ooh, I love that. Ruby Blocks, Blocks of Gold, Obsidian, Ruby. I just said that. I'm not really sure. Falling Meteorites. Got some ingots right there. What I might actually ask of her is one yellow and one red heart. Just to... Great Scott! I think what I'm going to ask of her is one red and one yellow heart. Just because, like, I'm looking at the stuff she has. I can obtain most of these things. But, like, I, I, I love having extra health in this game. You guys remember back in Crazy Craft, uh, for those that watched Crazy Craft through my series, I randomly got 18 hearts instead of 10 just in the middle of doing nothing in an episode. And I've, I've like, I've been addicted to extra health ever since. That sounds like I'm addicted to some sort of, like, weird rug. But either way, though, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and ask a rainbow sapling of her. Uh, well, we're not asked, but we're going to give a rainbow sapling. And let's go ahead and say right here, um, I see in your ep... No, hold on. I can't even... Oh, it's 1.7. The signs are a little bit weird. I can't write as much. Okay, I see... Or no, hold on. I got to... Those things... These things spin? They ro Oh, they rotate! I didn't even know that! Well, I learn new stuff every day. Either way, uh, I saw in your last episode that you have rainbow trees. Okay, that's one thing. What what you don't well, hold on. Uh what you don't have is a rainbow tree. <laughs> Get it? Because rainbow trees and rain okay, I'm moving on. Uh but I ask one thing of you. A red and a red and yellow heart if you um a red and yellow heart say yes and 
Many loves. I have no idea. This is my fudging girlfriend. I do not need to write signs for this. <laughs> but either way, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give her a rainbow oak sapling. Now, a red and yellow heart. I don't think she'll find that, like, very intriguing because, you know, she has three miniature yellow hearts uh, and four miniature red hearts. So I think we'll be okay to ask that of her. It's a pretty, I think it's a pretty fair trade. Like, I can just take her, you know what? I can just take her girlfriend. You know what? We can pull a J and I can just take her girlfriend for hostage and then just, you know, like bring her over and whatever and be like, hey, give me a, give me a red and yellow heart or your girlfriend gets it. Or I, I don't unfortunately know, but we're going to go ahead and leave that back there. Let me go ahead and travel back home. What I wanted to do on my end this episode was uh, I wanted, am I going the right direction? I think, yeah, okay, I definitely am. What I want to do this episode is I want to make my place look a little bit more beautiful. I want to do the, uh, the little cloud design you guys had um, a little while ago, which was basically to have a pond right around here with water flowing off of the island and being caught by clouds so like right over here uh these cloud blocks i want to actually have like water pouring on it and being caught by the cloud i think it's gonna be a really cool idea so we'll go with that but in the meanwhile while i'm kind of working on getting that done this thing i think needs uh what's it called i'm pretty sure this thing needs like lava underneath it or something which we can worry about that later but it's a good old fire jet it transforms i think into like the block whatever you place it on i think if it's applicable but either way I wanted to talk about uh, a one thing that's kind of been on my mind a little bit. And I'd like to get your guys' opinions on this in the comment section. Normally, I would just, like, make this a separate video, but I don't know. I'm going to be doing, you know, like, some different work right now in, in my uh, land. How am I going to... How am I going to do, like, the... How am I going to make this a pond? Ooh, this is going to be weird. Uh, ooh. How am I going to make this a pond? Ooh. I don't actually know. Hold on a second. I got, I'm going to go ahead and grab up all my, uh, hold on, luggy here. I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, grab you up right now. Grab you up, grab you up, grab you up. Oh, wait, no. Up. Oh, yeah, well, um, let me, give me just a sec. All right, so we have our five luggies in our inventory right now. But, um, what I'm trying to think of right now is, like, what exactly I want to do in terms of the lake itself. And I think what I might do, in all honesty, is just have it extend out, like, because I have to make the lake look natural, right? So what I might do is just, like, have a little area... I want to see how this looks right here. It's kind of like a bit of an edge to a lake, I suppose. So if I was to go around like this right here, how does this look? Does this look good? Hold on, how does this look for like the edge of a... Oh, God, no, it does not look good. Okay, I think we need to go a little bit... Oh, we definitely... No, 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 we definitely need to go in deeper. Okay, hold on a second. So we got... We want to go like right around here. And let's go like fudging like this deep. You know what I mean? Let's see. I'm trying to think like, because what's a good size lake and what's going to look natural, you know? Because like, I don't mind if the lake takes up too large of our island because i mean that's kind of you know our home is like the size that's gonna be forever so i'm trying to think here oh man uh now okay i like how far out right now hmm this is really something right now. I'm trying to think. Okay, let me actually go ahead and patchwork this back in right now. Let me go ahead. Let me get rid of all this grass so I can actually, like, freely look around and open my mind up a bit right now to what we're doing. And here's what I'm trying to think. I like the size of the, uh, what's it called? The island here, or the little pond, but I don't know whether or not I like how wide it is, so we might actually bring it a bit closer. So what I'm thinking is, what if we were to do something like having the dirt go, like, maybe, hmm... Ooh, this is this is interesting. I'm really new to this whole thing right now. So like maybe kind of like this and then somewhere around like like that. Uh ooh, and I have to make this look like a bit more natural right there. How does that ooh? I okay, I think we're made I think we're we're doing something right now. I think we're doing something. This is gonna look really ugly for a long while, and guys, I sincerely apologize. I I <laughs> Why don't you give me like five minutes? I'll be right back. So they have kind of got a little bit of an idea how I want the water to look. And obviously it's going to look very, very, uh, oh, you know, I just realized I actually cannot be filling in the, uh, the water right now. Just realized I actually, well, no, 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 not filling in the water, but I just realized I can't fill in the water if I take out this lower layer of dirt right now. That's a little bit of a problem. Uh, is there any way I could possibly chisel? Can dirt be chiseled? Can't, oh, you can chisel dirt. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to go ahead and actually chisel this dirt so I know what I need to be taking out. Oh, that's very, um, I, I didn't realize that I could chisel dirt. Completely forgot about that, but that's completely okay. Uh, this will kind of show us where exactly we need it to go. But yeah, like I was saying, I want the water to kind of overflow from the area. I'm going to get to work on that right now. But what I want to talk about, pardon me with my glasses. I, I have to apologize. I'm still trying to get my contacts in very soon. Uh, I've been a little sick, so I actually wasn't able to make my orthopedic, uh, 
orthopedic uh optometry appointment earlier so i've kind of got i think i have the flu i don't actually know like my 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 temperature has been a little bit weird i've had kind of like a fever i don't actually know i've been really really i've been sick but i haven't felt sick all that much and it's kind of like a very strange thing it's kind of worrying at the same time too but i have no idea either way um yeah like i was saying though i want to talk to you guys about something because i i was having some thoughts about this and it kind of struck my mind before I think I just saw another mob fall from the sky Please tell me if I'm wrong on this or not, but uh, like I was saying though I had a little bit of a thought about YouTube and everything because as you guys know um, You can hear it right now. I've talked about it a ton um, I improved my audio quality on my microphone a ton, you know, uh, this was from a while ago I I bought a new setup and everything I bought like everything I bought a brand new spanking like setup to work it, like I basically turned my bedroom into an office and it's awesome You know what I mean? By the way, is this going to Hopefully this will look good. I think it's gonna look good. I really have high hopes for this. But either way, let me keep, let me stay on topic right now. So I only have one time to talk about this before it kind of messes up and everything. By the way, this I think is gonna look exactly how I want it to. I do have to be careful right now because uh, I think it might look a little bit weird. Either way though, uh, back on topic. <laughs> I apologize. What I was saying though was I was thinking to myself, I spent all this time, you know, getting like a really damn good setup for you guys. No, the audio quality is god tier. Uh, the video quality is damn pretty good. Like, it's 1080 60p. The, the, the quality itself isn't fantastic, but, I mean, it's getting there for the most part. Uh, webcam is is good, you know, in videos right now. I think it's pretty decent. I got the green screen behind me and all that. And when you really look at it, you know, quiet keyboard, I've got a pretty damn good setup to be able to make some pretty damn spanking good video. Uh, but I was thinking to myself a little bit, like... I was, I was comparing myself to other YouTubers, you know what I mean? Like, people that I work with, people that I've seen or whatever. And you really look at it, like, especially with larger YouTubers, it's kind of like what I have right now, even though it's real god tier. Like, it really is. I didn't invent any of it, so I can brag all I want to. It, it's like, I don't feel special. You know what I mean? Like, I feel kind of special, but at the same time, I don't. L because... I feel like 1080p 60 FPS with like green screen video work and you know all that kind of stuff is almost the norm in YouTube and I, I don't know if any of you guys like feel the same way because from what I've seen around it seems to be that case for the most part you know like uh, even in console gaming or whatever Elgato has 1080p 60 FPS for people to upload and stuff and I mean like that's the thing it, it seems like these really crazy because like think about it like this where i'm trying to get to you guys i'm really scrambled i apologize i would do a lot better if it's just a standard podcast but think about it like this a couple of years ago um a lot of people were able to get by very easy with you know like a uh, bandy cam software 720 like if you had 720p you were good you know what i mean 720p video you were phenomenal um but if you had you know like 480p video people were like eh kind of low quality nowadays it's like if you don't have 1080p 60 People kind of look at you like, hey, you should really get that upgrade or whatever. And it's like, if you have 720p, just 30 FPS, it's kind of like, I don't know. You're nothing special anymore. And it's a little bit strange because, like, you look at all these YouTubers. They have amazing setups. And it's, I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, technology has advanced so much in the past couple of years to where this kind of, like, you know, green screen, perfect audio quality, 1080p, 60 FPS on YouTube isn't special anymore. It's what we've come to expect from it and that never used to be the case take this quality that i have right now back two years ago back two three years ago on youtube people will be showing up at my door with pitchforks you know what i mean like how could you have such good quality but now it's like i upgrade this and you know people are using dslrs as their webcam now and i don't really know how to think about it you know what i mean because you have the new age YouTube where technology, here's the thing, technology is so vastly expanding. You know, you have cameras that can support these crazy inputs. You have monitors that are like 5K resolution. You have all this crazy stuff. But think about it like this though. YouTube itself as a platform can only grow and it supports so, you know, so much. Once you've reached like 1080p 60 FPS, You've kind of reached, like, the max of YouTube for the most part. Like, there, you could go higher, you know, 4K or whatever, but it's not necessary. But if you think about it, we've kind of right now reached, like, the maximum that YouTube can offer at the time being. You know, 60 FPS video and all that kind of fun junk. And I don't really know how to feel about it. Like, is it an amazing thing 
that, I mean, it is. Is it an amazing thing that my setup right now is nothing special? Or is it kind of a sad thing that my setup, you know, the green screen, the quality, you know, the audio, the content, is it sad that that's not special? I have, I, I personally have no idea. It's just like, back three years ago, 720p was like, wow, you know? And now it's like, 1080p 60 is like, nice, you know? And back then, I guess like a little bit of a difference too, is a little bit more saturated because back then, oh, this is a 1.8, there's no water change, okay. But back then though, it's like, you know, 100k was like a million now. Have you ever thought about that too? Getting 100,000 subscribers like two, three years ago on YouTube was some big deal to, you know, so many people, and it still is. Don't get me wrong, like, hitting 100k is still a massive thing, but you can't lie with me right now. Getting 100k back then, people, like, screamed about it so much more than they do now. It's like now, back then, if you had 100k, you were the shit, you know what I mean? Like, you had a damn good YouTube channel, and you were blowing up, you know what I mean? But it's like now, it's kind of like the same thing, but it's like a million now. You know, if you have a million now, it's like 100,000 back then, and that's... I don't know, like, YouTube is such a changing platform, and it really makes you think, if 1 million is the thing right now, and 1080p60 is the thing right now, where it's, like, the maximum, what's YouTube gonna be like in 2-3 years from now, you know, like, is 5 million suddenly gonna be, like, the, the huge thing that everybody looks at? Because right now, you might think, like, 5 million, that's ridiculous, that's a huge number, nobody's gonna achieve that, and maybe, but... Three years ago, could you have told me that so many people would be hitting a million subscribers? Could you have told me, like, 100,000 wouldn't be as sought after as it was back then? I don't think you could have. This kind of quality, you couldn't have told me about. It's, it's just, like, technology is advancing around us so fast, and YouTube is such a delicate platform that requires such careful things to make it perfect. And I don't know where it's headed, you know what I mean? It's kind of... It's really terrifying to think about this atmosphere we're in, you know what I mean? But either way, though, uh, I kind of want to just ramble. I know that was not a very clean um, explanation of what I was trying to think of. I might edit it out and, like, edit it later, but that's just what I was thinking. Either way, though, you take a look at what we've got right here. This is kind of the idea that I had for the, uh, the lake, kind of, like, sprouting out, and I think this looks pretty good. The only thing is right now, obviously, if you go ahead and look at the bottom, uh... We've got a little bit of a problem, Johnny, but what I wanted to do now was I actually wanted to grab the, uh, let me actually, should I take my luggies out? Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and take my luggies out. Go ahead, luggies, be free in the world, because I need five more blocks of inventory space. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some clouds up that I've got right now. I think I have them sort of way, I don't have any in here. I need to find where my clouds are and use them to cradle these. Yeah, we got, uh, blue air clouds right now. Should we use blue or green? Ooh, or cold. Ooh, we can actually use quite a bit. We might actually want to use the, uh, I'm thinking the blue air clouds might look the nicest. Consi well, actually, hmm, I'm not actually sh uh, even sure. Because then again, how are we even going to build this area? Like, where, how low do we want the water to be able to catch the, or like, how low do we want the clouds to catch the water? And then again, do we want this large of a water spout pouring out? I'm thinking like right about here. I'm thinking like right about here is a good, what is this right now? It's 148, so what about 148 seems to be, can you not do this right now, guy? I'm trying to make art happen right now and you are just not having any of it. Let me go ahead and get back on top of my island right now. Do I have, uh, I do have dirt, okay. Let me build a little bit over and I think, okay. Do I want this to be how the uh, water looks or actually, you know what I might do? Could I maybe even, maybe even move the water inward a bit more like the, oh, luggies, do not do this to me. Luggies, you're going to make me regret bringing you guys out, aren't you? Yeah, I think they will haunt. So if I go ahead and take the water right here and kind of move it in this way, is that going to like maybe give the water a bit of a better effect and like close this in a bit more? Because I think it might. How does this look if I do it like that? Does that look better or should I make it look, uh, actually... I kind of like it like that. It's got a little bit of a hook in, and I think the water spouts are going to look a little bit better. So we'll do the same thing over here. So we're going to go ahead and move this in with some dirt right here. So we'll go ahead and uh, pillar that in and move this guy in right to about there. And then I think that should cut off the water a bit more. So how does that look in terms of size? I think, ooh, this is really weird, huh? Oh, God, what is this monstro- What the heck is this monstrosity to do? Oh, you know what? It's the damn water connecting to it right now. You know what I think I'm going to have to do real fast here, unfortunately? I think I might actually have to drain the water real quickly and uh, take a look and see. Yeah, I think I have to drain the water at the moment and then uh, have it go back up. So let me actually go ahead and grab up. Uh, yeah. Mm. 
water. That's a thing we have to worry about, huh? Let me go ahead and t let me just do something real fast. Right, yeah, so I went ahead actually and uh, I, I, I actually made the thing smaller because I, I looked at it and was like, this thing's a little bit too big for the island. It looks pretty ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. So I made it a lot smaller to where it's still kind of like a, you know, a pretty good looking floating island. I would say like, out of all floating islands, I think this one's gonna be the one that's got the best day to the prom, I'd say. I'm gonna go ahead and move that in a little bit more right there. That's a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. Could I maybe like, move it in right there a little bit and then maybe, ooh, you know what? Maybe I could do like this right here. And then give it a good old like little pop right there and then a little drop and then maybe ooh, you know what i think that looks a little bit better i still maybe want to adjust kind of like the uh the island itself like how big it is on the island but i think right here this is how it's gonna look as for the water going down the water's already gone by the way uh so i went ahead and just closed that off so i think we're gonna go ahead and let it drain right now just kind of out at the moment so we're gonna go ahead and break this down right here and just kind of like let out the free flow man let out the free flow and see so this right here if this guy is flowing down let's go ahead and break open this one last one over here so that flows down pretty naturally over there and then i think we want to do the last one right over here i would say now is that gonna be how does that look down here that looks good that looks even i was going for more of like an even showing and that is a very even look that i think makes it look very very nice okay i like this this is good it's a lot better than the one we had before now what i have to do now is i need to go ahead and catch it at around y level 148 so let's see this one right now is that we're at y level 149 this is about 148 right about here so I'd say we want to bring it to right around. Ooh, can I place the block down? Are you gonna allow me to? There you go. There you go. It's a little bit finicky. Like you have to, you have to place it like kind of close to it right there when you're building from underneath. Okay, so let's see here. So this right here, if we were to do it right now, yeah. So 149. I think it should be good right around here. What we're gonna do right now? I've never, I've never built anything that's caught water before. You know what I mean? So this is gonna be a little bit kind of, uh, I guess, new to me right now. So let's see. How exactly do we want to make this thing look? So this is gonna be the start of the cloud right now. We're gonna obviously want the cloud to ooh, how are we gonna build this thing dude i forgot i can't shift on these dude i completely forgot that i can't shift on these things crap what am i supposed to do man what am i supposed to do i can't <laughs> i completely forgot that i can't shift on these things i okay so you break them with a pickaxe so i gotta remember that much at least okay so we're gonna have to like ooh, this is gonna be weird like this is this is wonky, dude. I've never done anything like this before, but I think this is going to look damn beautiful. At least I hope so. Now, I know one thing as well. My lively default is not working, or the texture bag is not working very well with the water. You guys know my water is usually a lot clearer than this, so I don't really know what's up with that. I might need to get that checked in or fixed. Either way, though, let's go ahead and I guess just get it from the side right now. Now, really, here's the thing. As long as we can't, oh, by the way, we cannot interrupt the water flow. Otherwise, this entire thing is going to get messed up. And we're going to have to drain it again. That's a finicky way that water works. Like, if, if we wind up making this thing extend out a little bit further than it should, like, it pours out an extra block, the whole thing's just messed up completely. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to want to obviously change. Oh, you know what? I just realized that I can build a bit with the water right now. Okay, I can use the water a bit to build. That's, that's kind of cool. Don't really have to, like, levitate the entire way up right now. But... We're going to obviously want to change a bit of how the cloud looks. This obviously, that does that does not look majestic at all. Either way, it works. That's all we need to care about right now. It works. So we'll go ahead and I guess just remove, uh, what's it called? Ooh, so how do we do this then? We're going to have to make like a little path underneath here. We'll go ahead and get caught up by the water then. So this right here is going to just be built out. So it's going to catch the water and prevent it from flowing. And then we can change a little bit of the design of the cloud later on. As long as we just catch it for right now. That's all that matters. Let's see. If we go ahead and do that around that. I really hope it's going to look good. Because I have no idea what it's going to see. Like, this could be horrible. This could look really bad. And it could have looked good in my mind. Let's go ahead and see here. So, this thing is catching. Oh, man. Nah, it looks so cool. Yo. Okay. The cloud looks terrible. Like, the cloud that the water is being caught from looks horrible. But that looks so sick. Yo, shouts to myself for having this as, like, an idea early on. Shouts to you guys for reminding me to do this, like, 15 episodes later. I think it was, like... I think it was one comment in particular someone actually told me to do this on. I can't remember if it was two or three, but it might have been multiple. I think there were a couple of people that had this idea all along. But, I mean, hey, you know what? Great minds think a lot. You know what I'm saying? Great... Great minds think a lot. Great minds actually think less, I think. Do 
Is that the phrase? Like, great minds think less, but about more C- I, I don't know what it actually is, but great minds think alike, that's what I meant to say. Either way, though, so we got our little, like, dream cloud basically catching this thing. Again, the cloud doesn't look all that great, but the thing itself looks damn cool. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do right now, then, I guess, is, uh, we got the water started on this thing. So, let's go ahead and, uh, do I have bone meal on me, Ryan? Do I have bone meal inside of- I do have bone meal in my backpack. Let's go ahead and re-bone meal up this area right around here. We're gonna want the grass to grow. That's the only thing, because this thing right now looks really ugly with all the dirt that we've got around the corner. In fact, this little, uh, we need to go ahead and fix this one little, like, chisel dirt right there. Ooh, do not- okay, as long as the water flow doesn't, like, get extended out. Actually, I just realized something. We can't touch the water in this at all. What is- okay, what is go- oh. That would be, uh, that would be an item leaping up and down right now. You know what? If Entity Clear wasn't a- I just realized something. Guys, if Entity Clear wasn't a thing, what if we got, like, some sort of, uh, what's it called? Some sort of item with, like, that's- it's really colorful, and we just made it bounce. Oh my god, yo! Is this gonna- hold on, I wanna see, cause I know Entity Clear's a thing. Uh, well, not Entity Clear, but, like, the- not, like, plugin or anything like that, but I know, like, it'll just genuinely, like, you know, Minecraft generally, uh, clears entities. I think it's, like, every five minutes that you're in a chunk. If this thing never clears, I'm actually gonna be so happy because we're just gonna drop like a bunch- like, we're gonna drop a piece of bone meal down right now. This thing's just gonna leap up. Dude, no, I think it's gonna miss though because I threw it at kind of an angle. Nope, dude. You're mad. Yeah, it's gonna- is the bone meal gonna fall? Oh, it's a little bit laggy right now. I'm not actually sure, but that is so cool right now. The bone meal is actually flying really high at the moment. I think it's like- now it's the same eye right there. Yo, that's so freaking cool. Either way, I think we're gonna go ahead and wait for this grass to grow right now, and then we'll go ahead and rebone meal up the area. But what I wanna do, you know what? What I wanna do in the meantime, I'm actually gonna go ahead and grow these rainbow oak saplings, see what these guys look around our area. In fact, let's go ahead and grow one, I think, right next to our pond. In fact, ooh. Do I want, you know what? Let's go ahead and see what it looks like right over here. So we're gonna go ahead and grow you. Oh man, I'm sorry, but like, ooh, it has a little particle effect too? No, it's just the bone meal. Damn, I thought this thing had a particle effect as well. I would have been so happy, but that looks so sick. We got a rainbow tree out in the front right there. Can we get, like, maybe I could actually farm these guys up and get, like, multiple rainbow trees around my area, you know what I mean? Like, let's just do another one right about, like, what about right here? Like, a rainbow tree kind of, like, right off the end. Yo, what does that look like? Ba Ooh, baby, that looks so good! Man, our area is coming along. I like this. Like, it's not that large. You know, we've only got one island worked on it right now, but... This looks damn good, dude. Now, there's one thing I remember. I've tested this out before and it didn't work. Carol was actually able to make a giant rainbow oak sapling grow. I kind of want to get that guy to grow, like, right over, like, right here. If I could get a giant rainbow sapling right here, that'd be fantastic. I need to figure out how to make a giant, uh, sapling grow. So let me actually take a quick bit, let the grass grow, and figure out how to do that. And I'll catch you guys back in a second. Oh, man, I'm pumped. So from what I've seen on, like, uh, online things, pretty much everything around the block is that, and this is what I thought before, but I didn't think it worked, but I'm gonna try it again, just to see. So, if you go ahead and place a five pillar right now of, like, stone, for example, this should grow a giant tree, if I recall, but I'm not sure whether or not... Oh, it does. Yo, how does that look right now? I don't know... Mm, I wish it didn't grow it on the right side, you know what I mean? Like, because right now, we have the tree kind of hovering over our house. I wish it was gonna hover, like, over the, uh... The, um, the pond right here, but still looks damn cool, and also, I think, unfortunately, the item does despawn. Damn, that would have been so sick to have him just leaping up there, but that looks really cool right there. The only thing is, I need to get more saplings, so what I might have to do... I might have to chop down these trees right now and try and get some more saplings, like, farm these guys up, or I could chop down this large one and we could regrow it. In fact, I think it might be worth it to chop... Oh, that looks so... Be Dude! Look at this! Like... That is a- wow! Oh my gosh! These are like- that is blue! Like, that is blue! Deep blue! That is some bright pink magenta right there! This is a gorgeous looking tree! Twilight Force, you outdid yourself! Like, that is phenomenal! The thing is though, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and chop down this tree in particular because we can regrow a larger one, right? And maybe I don't even need to. You know what? I want to take a look at something real- Oh, you know what? Hold on. I want to see real fast here, because I want to make another one of these guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and do- 
What if I go ahead and plant one down right? I want to plant another one down right. Ooh, is that a good spot for it? Or maybe I should do it a bit more hanging off. Like maybe about like right. Ooh, maybe right here. I think this is going to be a good spot for it. So let's go ahead and do one, two, three, four, and five. And if we bone meal you up again, you should grow into a lot. Oh my. Yo, I'm sorry, but like, can we get some love for how sick these trees look right now? We have no more saplings in the moment, but guys, that just looks so damn cool, man. We're going to need to get like, honestly, I'm going to get a ton of saplings. I'm going to cut down both these trees. I'm going to cut down both of these trees right now. So wait for that grass to grow. We're going to get a ton of saplings and we are going to litter our area up with just so many of these, uh, rainbow trees. The uh, thing is, I have to make sure that I actually get saplings out of these because, uh, I, I think they're a rarer drop than normal, like, vanilla Minecraft, so we gotta be a little bit careful. I love- dude, look at this blue. Look at that blue. That is- that is blue. My god, this is like- I've never seen such vibrant colors in Minecraft before, even in, like, Lapis. Like, that's really, really blue, and I love it. We still have not gotten a single sapling. Oh, man. We got to be careful right now because I can wind up coming out of this with no saplings whatsoever. And we might have to go back and grab the one that I gave to Kara in like dire measures. But I'm going to go ahead and chop both these down. Pray to me that I get some good luck, guys. So, uh, oh, man. I'll catch you all. Ooh, okay. We're already, we're already in the plus. I'll catch you guys back in a few. So I spent some good time chopping down these leaves. And uh, for the love of God, like, guys, the grass has hardly grown in. But, like... That took a long time. Like, there were a lot of freaking leaves in these trees, man. And you can see right now, out of the, uh, the, the luck that I had before, we got 15 of these saplings out. Kind of 15 off of two large trees. Like, that is... We basically have no excuse of being able to get, like, multiple of these. Because now we got 15 of them. Like, there should be no reason at all why we'd ever run out of these rainbow oak saplings. So, like, I, I can't imagine. Like, even a forest fire... The forest fire... The fire spreads turned off. Like, but either way, uh, I love the... What's it? called the uh the twilight oak wood too it looks really really nice really adds like a nice texture to our home considering you know we already kind of built off the twilight forest as well either way though so we got 15 of these guys i'm gonna go ahead and plant these down literally right back where they were i don't even know like why i'm breaking the area because like i'm just gonna wind up putting them right back in there so we got another law oh our meteor shield protects our land from another meteor. That happened like three times last episode so hey you know what i'm content about that let's put down another one of these right here and completely freaking forgot that we wanted to do a large one but hey you know what a short one i'm not gonna lie i kind of you know what i kind of actually dig that that was completely by accident but you know what i really like the look of that let's go over here then i think we'll do uh should we do a large one down right here i think we, i'm thinking a large one down right here so we'll go ahead and grab up some does it have to be stone i might actually it might not even matter if it's like dirt or whatever i think it has to be stone though because the stone's like a pretty pretty solid object dirt's not so much so let's go ahead and build another one big one right here big 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 <laughs> That looks really freaking... That's like a perfect angle, too. One thing that I don't want is I don't want any of the trees to fuse in with each other. I want them all to feel, like, kind of separate. So, that's... A, yo, can we talk about how beautiful this looks right now? Damn, dude, I love that. Oh, let me get my Ocelot pet back in my inventory. Yo, that just looks spot-on killer right there, baby. Killing it, killing it. All right, uh, we'll do another one. Do another oak down right about here, I think. Right about there looks good. Ooh, you know what? That's another good one. I like that. Maybe it's a little bit more spaced out should have been. Maybe, oh, you know what? I'm thinking, you know what? Right around here, I'm feeling a large one. We'll go ahead and do one, two, three, four, and five. Let's get a large one playing down right here. See how this baby looks. And, ooh, how do I like that? It just hooks the house perfect i like that i like how it just touched the house but not too much not to really like you know be like hey what's up i'm you know i'm a tree or whatever i think that looks really really good these are beautiful trees i cannot get over that enough man but hey you know what i'm building with them they're my architecture and i think they add a very beautiful touch to the house uh, i need to stop using the word beautiful what's another word i could use uh gorgeous magnificent um a Minecraft. You know what? I don't need I don't need adjectives for Minecraft. Okay. You know what? It means the same thing. Doesn't really fudge and matter. Uh, we'll go ahead and build another one of these guys. Build building these trees. We're building build these trees. That's not gonna that's not gonna grow. Okay. Root riot. Ironically, Forest right when I run out of all of the bone meal that I have, root riot begins. And you know what? When I'm built, does this thing know that I'm building with trees right now? Is that why root riot began? You know what? Probably is. Either way, let me go ahead and grab up. Uh, do we actually have? You know what? I don't even know where my bone. I, I found two bones. 
bones right in there. Let me go ahead and just hop back through here. Go in here and then just like bone meal it up back in my inventory. I got 64 of these bad guys again. Come on, where was the tree we were trying to grow? Was it right over here? I don't actually think that this thing's going to wind up growing because of the position that it's at right now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that was going to grow. Let's do one right out here though. Yeah, that's a... Ooh, it grew a large one we didn't even want it to. You know what? You know, you know, that's a good spot though. I like that. It grew a large one. We didn't really want it to, but I think it shows a good large one to grow. We'll do another one. I think right about here should be a good spot. Grow. Not a large one. It's a small one. I want it to be small at times, so that looks pretty good too. And then maybe, uh, do we want like one back here as well? Yeah, we could do like one hanging right off the edge right now. Right around there looks good. Not a large one. Again, did not want it large. Uh, question would be now... What uh, should we plant more trees? Like I'm thinking maybe another one down like right here. Don't plant large. Don't be it. Okay. Thank you. It's a very small one. That looks really, really, really nice. Like that is very, very nice. In fact, you know what I think I want to do real quickly though? If I have the opportunity, which I most definitely do right now, let's go ahead and take some of my luggies right now, pop them in uh, my backpack. I want to go ahead and grab up. I've got tons of diamonds right now, so I'm actually going to go ahead and take the flowers that are right here. I'm going to remove this uh, Twilight Forest portal completely. I've got an idea for you guys. Check this out. So we're going to go ahead and, ooh, how do I, do I have to like take the bucket? Oh no, I think I need to get water. Hold on. Let me grab some water right here, flush this guy out, and now we go take some dirt and cover this bad boy up at the moment and we'll cover this one up too like this really doesn't need to be a thing in here either uh we'll go ahead and re chisel the dirt hold on let me go ahead and make this back into normal vanilla minecraft dirt the old dirt that we know and love 36 of that we'll go ahead and turn that into grass whatever and then i think you know what right about i think i want the net uh what is it the twilight forest portal to be right here I think this is where I want the portal, literally one off from the area we were already at, but I thought about it, and I'm like, you know what? I want the Twilight Forest portal to stay up here, because this is like the Twilight Forest area, but it didn't make sense that it was like in an awkward position right there. Why not have it like right in the middle of these gates that we got going on? So, we'll go ahead and grab up a bucket of water right now. We can go ahead and pour that sucker in right in the corner there. Do another one, pour it right there, and we'll go ahead and get the flowers working around this edge. So, we got the uh, dandelions of poppies. Can we do like an alternate around here so like kind of like that is that going to be able to alter it yes it definitely will dandelion around there that looks really freaking nice and we'll go ahead and go back in here and i should have a diamond in this chest oh baby you know what you guys might think hey i don't know crap about where anything is that's a lie i know where everything is i can tell you right now superhero suit oh baby superhero suits right there i love it okay not just totally because we just did that at the beginning of the episode but either way we're going to strike that bad boy down get that lightning going whoop and we got ourselves a Twilight Forest portal right there. That's in a very nice position. I definitely like that. And now I think, if I'm correct here, can't I take the stone that I've got right now and, like, hold on. I want to see this. If I was to take, uh, ooh, what stone would look good around this area? If even if stone would even look good right now? Maybe we should just be working with a Twilight Oak Wood. Does this turn into, like, uh, Oak Wood? No, it's just normal oak planks, unfortunately. Ah, damn, that would have been cool. What if we were to do, like, around here, instead of it being, uh, just dirt, what if we were to place this with, like, because if I take the leaves out, yeah, it still creates a portal, I'm not going to lie, though. I kind of really like the natural, like, I don't know. I like the flowers there. I think it adds a really nice touch. I'm not going to mess with the portal. I think it looks uh, beautiful. looks very good. Uh, could I possibly even... What the heck is that dark thing down? Oh, is that no dirt underneath there? Was that grass? I don't even know. It's like, is that, a, like, a missing block underneath there or something? I have no idea. Can I even, like... I don't even think I could damage the portal without... That looks really weird. I have no idea what that is, but I'm actually going to go ahead and redo the portal up real fast because that's going to bug me for sure. Hold on. Is that... That's just grass. Okay, hold on a second. Let me... I'm going to take some stone real fast here. In fact, no, stone? Should we do stone? No, no, no. Okay, I got an idea. Let's do the wood, okay? Let's go ahead and just put down uh, some wood right here. Please don't tell me it's going to interrupt the... Uh, okay, I was hoping that there wasn't the... Uh, the What's it called? The... Um, meteorite protector thing underneath there to just gonna like drain it i don't even know if that's impacted by water but either way we'll go ahead and strike that back down again there we go and that okay that looks good right there with the wood i think it looks like kind of like the underneath of a tree the underbark of a tree it looks very very nice what other touches are there to be done around our place because i mean like guys our area is looking damn nice like finding these uh oh we gotta hold on we gotta go ahead and remove this stuff right here but finding these rainbow trees is probably the best thing i think that we could have done in this series in terms of like how our house looks and i oh man should i say the word beautiful again should i have to say it one more time i'm gonna say it. it's beautiful absolutely beautiful but guys 
I'm trying to think, like, what else could we possibly even do for our area to make it look better? Because I think, I think there's nothing. I think we might actually be done with area number one. I don't know. Guys, let me know down in the comments below as well. Should I have a roof over my place? I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to leave a straw poll in the description. Roof, no roof. Because I'm not going to lie. Kind of digging the no roof atmosphere. I'm kind of digging the no roof atmosphere, but at the same time, I could definitely understand why you would want to, you know, roof your house. I don't know if I want to make this thing like multiple stories, but this right here is island number one. And of course, let's go ahead and take a look at it out from a bit farther away. How does that look? You know what? One thing I think I may have to do, it, it looks really nice, but at the same time, like there's so much on top, but there's like nothing underneath. I might want to go ahead and put like, I think I want to do like spikes underneath the ground with the stone eventually. I'll probably do that like off camera or some other time, but guys... That is a beautiful, gorgeous looking home. I think we're done here. And I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode right here. By the way, can we talk about this? Um, you know, in art, there's, uh, there's, there's always, I'm trying to have like a, a funny moment right now, whatever you define, I guess he doesn't find me funny, but in art, there's, there's suffering for your art and there's things like you go up to a museum and you have like, you know, what looks like puke on a wall. But then some artists will come over and say, nah, it's it's physique, it's art, it's just gorgeous. So you know what, that little guy right there is, we'll call him art, suffering for art, okay? But either way, guys, hopefully you all enjoyed. This place just looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and uh, if you guys would like to see anything different for next episode, like, it's, uh, we're done with our home pretty much. Like, we can obviously add a bunch of stuff in here, but this is our island looking gorgeous as ever. I think we're good to go on uh, calling it there. But guys, if you guys have any recommendations, I need to stop saying the word guys. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any ideas for the next episode, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Take care, and I'll catch you all back next time. Ciao.